Oh, hey folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some people that I am actually believing that are demonic forces. I don't think that they're bad people. I think that they are actually demons that have been sent from hell to lie to you gullible idiots to believe what they have to say. And it's just like in the Bible where the snake uh, very, uh, very um, carefully and um, effectively lures uh, Adam and Eve to partake into something that they should not do. They represent lies as truths and truths as lies. And we're going to start with this demon. People who are calling for a ceasefire now do not understand Hamas. That is not possible. It would be such a gift to Hamas because they would spend whatever time there was a ceasefire in effect rebuilding their uh, armaments, creating stronger positions to be able to fend off uh, an eventual um, assault by the Israelis. So we're in a very different world. I don't think it had to be the world we're in, but that's where we are, and we've got to figure our way uh, forward through it. Okay. Now, here's a snake. This one is a snake uh, coming from the depths and the pits of hell. And I know a lot of you are going to immediately, since you can't think, you're going to immediately know that this is the person that you rally for. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you what's so sad. What's so sad is that this is not a Democrat, Republican paradigm. It's not. I'm going to show you people on each side that believe the same exact way. That's what makes this so, so terrifying because you're all so goddamn stupid now that you don't know one thing from another. So what I'm going to do is we're going to break this down and I'm going to stop this so that you can understand what the game is here. And I'm going to have to put this on the pause because I want to do this at least three times. All right. Because I can think of three different times. This is a leftist. And the next person will be a leftist. And the third person is going to be very heavily on the right. Okay. So let me stop this at the uh, proper time. That's where we are. And we've got to figure our way uh, forward through it. People who are calling for a ceasefire now do not understand Hamas. That is not possible. Okay. Now, fuck whole zombies. Again, I know that you're not capable of leaving people that you, uh, demons that you hold an allegiance to, but you're going to have to be better than yourself. You're going to have to rise above your genetic material by use of your brain. It's something that I don't think other creatures in the world, and some can. Actually, I've seen dogs that rescue people and things like that. So I'm not sure. I hate to say that about the animal kingdom because the animal, animal kingdom is, is pretty amazing when you look at it. All right. I think I just heard this, this, uh, this snake say that um, she wants to make you believe that there's no possible way that we could not continue to attack Hamas. It's not possible. It's not possible. So maybe you folks, um, you fuck zombies and zombies if you don't fuck. Maybe you just don't understand what the words mean. So I'm going to help you break down the words. Okay. Possible means um, available or within limits or reachable. And what this is saying is that if you don't, if you call for a ceasefire and you don't kill any more people, then obviously if no one dies, how can you kill Hamas? So 
let's just get to this, okay? Because this is just going to be cut and dried. If you stop killing men, women, children, babies, pregnant mothers, if you stop killing those people, how in the world would you be able to kill Hamas? Do you understand? That's why it's not possible. In other words, there's no ability to do that because you have to kill Hamas. Now, how many people who are not Hamas can you kill in order to be able to kill a certain amount of Hamas? What is a reasonable figure? And the truth is, it's very difficult to tell because there's going to be something also that you fuck zombies can't understand because you can't critically think. Um, you not only have to figure out whether these civilians uh, or supposed civilians, look, those babies may be uh, waiting to kill. You don't know this. So if the babies are ready to kill um, certain people, that are attacking them, then maybe the other people are all guilty of the same thing about wanting to kill. Now, that means that you're right. Because if a one-year-old child can kill, then the others are obviously able to kill. And you have the right to kill all of these one-year-olds, babies, infants, because you don't know what's on their mind either, really, truly. You don't. There's a tremendous amount of knowledge that six and eight month old uh, children can figure out and understand. So, uh, and pregnant women and elderlies, you don't know what's on their mind and how dangerous they can be. So you have the right to kill whatever stands in the way. You have the right to be able to kill anything that comes in the path in order to be able to kill the Hamas. So let's listen to this one more time and listen to this snake, this demonic Satan sent snake to lie directly to us and tell us that there's absolutely no choice that if we don't, if we don't kill the civilians, that there's no way we can kill Hamas. And that may be true. If we stop killing the, the civilians, we may not be able to kill Hamas. But remember the angle. Remember the angle. The world is watching. The world is watching. And they even don't care if these babies are digging tunnels. You can dig a tunnel at one years old. I'm sorry, folks. But some of these six-month-olds can learn how to dig tunnels at six months old. So they are not innocent. Believe me when I tell you. But the problem is, even if you can prove it, you have a public perception nightmare. That's what you fuck zombies don't understand. And it's only going to get worse. So listen to the snake and see if you can understand what I'm telling you. People who are calling for a ceasefire now do not understand Hamas. That is not possible. It would be such a gift to Hamas because they would spend whatever time there was a ceasefire in effect rebuilding their... Uh, armaments, creating stronger positions to be able to fend off uh, an e eventual um, assault by the Israelis. So we're in a very different world. I don't think it had to be the world we're in, but that's where we are, and we've got to figure our way uh, forward through it. Well, the way you've, it's very simple, um, uh, demon snake. The way you figure your way through it is you just figure that the six-month-old children are very, very capable of digging tunnels. They are very capable uh, in enough numbers to be able to move ordnance. 
uh, that would hurt or harm uh, other people who have uh, not their best wishes uh, or their best wishes in mind. So now I'm going to have to take you to another demon that's also on the other side of the aisle. So this is, again, you can't be a fuckhole political fuck shit because this is not going to apply. It's very, very complicated. Stand by. He's running for office. Well, black voters count. And you can call him all kinds of names. You can call him Uncle Remus. You can call him Uncle Tom. You can be a racist pig like all Democrats. But the fact remains... He's running for office pigs. Deal with it. And happening now, tens of thousands in London, people, tens of thousands of black Muslims are rioting in London because Israel is defending itself. That's happening all across our country. The FBI and the CIA have set up worldwide massive, massive influx of black Muslims to riot. Now, where do they be? There's no porta potty, so they're obviously just being on the ground and pooping on the ground. These people are sick, and we brought them into our country. England brought them into the country. Most of Europe brought them into the country. And then they're cutting off the diesel supply so they can't be fed. Isn't that just so special? And they're protesting because Hamas killed up to 1,500 Jews for no reason, and Israel is going to flatten the Hamas. We're going to find out what Saudi Arabia does. They have 15. Okay, so Israel is going to just flatten Hamas. Now, let me tell you something. This man's name is Bill Mount, William Mount. That's his channel right there. He is as hard as you can get to the right. He's so hard to the right that he's out there in outer space to the right side of the, to the, of the planet. This is not going to be a Democrat-Republican paradigm. This has to do with the ability to understand when you're looking at snakes and demonic um, Satan-sent people. And this man is trying to say that uh, he talks about all the other people who are being sent. Let me tell you something, Mount. Let me tell you something. I do not subscribe to you anymore. I will never subscribe to you anymore. And although, yes, I'm sure that there were a lot of black Muslims um, uh, uh, protesting and still are in England, I will tell you that there's a lot of non-Muslims that are protesting this because as you so quickly put it forward that uh, Israel was attacked, and now they are going to flatten uh, Hamas. Well, how are they going to do that, Bill? You're a big right winger, right? How are they going to do it? Oh, that's right. They're going to steamroll over all of these little uh, six-month-old tunnel diggers? Is that what they're going to do, Bill? Bill, you are obviously, you are obviously a plant by somebody and you have no business being on this YouTube. You are a snake, you are a demon, and you are sick in your head. Now, I'm going to show you the last one, and this one is also another Democrat, and I'm going to have to also explain this to you because most of you are so dim-witted and stupid that you can't understand this either. But don't worry, I am here for you to narrate. So stand by. Uh, pardon me, folks. We have another brainless fucking retard uh, that's on the right. I would love nothing more than for the IDF to put the heads of the top 100 Hamas leaders on stakes and line them up on the Israel-Gaza border as a sign that October 7, 2023 will never happen again, and then to use all of those same resources to build the border defenses of the future. But that is Israel's decision to make, not ours. That is what David Ben-Gurion would tell Israel to do. That is what George Washington would tell the United States to do. I would love nothing... Okay, so uh, this subhuman, um, he, he, again, 
a demon, a snake demon, sent to misguide you, this time on the hard political right. In fact, he's known as Trump Light. He is from a part of the world which I don't think uh, excels at mental clarity, frankly. That's just my honest opinion. Now, some of them do. I want to add that. Not all of them, but there's a great deal of ignorance where this man's uh, heritage comes from. Um, evidently, he wants to um, do what uh, was done to the people, thereby promoting the violence and the torture and mount heads of people on stakes. And as a matter of fact, nothing would make him happier. Um, I'll let you figure out what that means uh, in, the privacy of, in the privacy of your own thoughts. Now, I'm going to show you uh, one other person. Stand by while I find it. Uh, folks, this one, um, it's extremely complicated uh, and you're not going to be able to understand this. So I'm going to have to do a pre-narration of this in order for you fuck zombies to understand what's coming. And what I want to show you is that there are some people who are so smart uh, and they know that you're so stupid that they will take very formulaic... Um, mannerisms in order to be able to make you think that they are not what they are saying. Again, they're going to teach you how um, the truth is a lie. And this one is going to try to tell you that what he's saying is not true, but it's actually true. It's difficult to look at the... When you want to get people to feel sorry for you, you do these kind of mannerisms right here. Sorry. Sorry. It's, difficult it's okay. It's difficult. I know. And imagine that any well-thinking, seriously. Well, you suck your lip. You do all these kind of things to make people believe. Talk to a psychology. But, uh, right. And he's not certainly not a psychology it is, expert. It is combat. It is bloody. It is ugly. And it's going to be messy. And innocent civilians are going to be hurt going forward. I wish I could tell you something different. I wish that that wasn't going to happen. Uh, but it is it is going to happen. It's difficult. To Folks, look at the do you understand the lie? Do, do you understand? Are you so fucking dim-witted that you can't understand the lie, the clear lie that he's telling us? Serious mature leader. Uh, again, he has to garner your sympathy. Uh, he reminds you that he's not a psychiatry expert. It's war in Palestine. It is ugly and it's going to be messy. And innocent civilians are going to be hurt going forward. I wish I could tell you something different. I well, wish hold on. Wait, well, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. You're a fuck zombie, right? You're a fuck old zombie. You're a Democrat now, right? Let's figure out what you just said, because Americans aren't really that smart. Um, I'm going to break down your phrasage there, okay? You wish you could say, you, you wish you could say something different. Folks, that's a clear lie. You could say something different. Why? Because this is not the only way to proceed. But when you're a snake sent from the pits of hell, like this piece of filth, this fucking trash, satanic piece of filth snake. He will tell you a lie and represent it as truth. This is not the only way to handle this. And not only will uh, civilians get hurt, they will die. And they will die in massive numbers. Uh, but it is... It is going to happen. It's difficult. There you have it. Now, I'm going to show you one last person who claims to be in contact with 
God. Um, is he? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I mean, I represent myself as a deity, but Chris got it right. He predicted something would happen on the first week of October. And I heard it with my own two ears because I listened to Chris. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, well, this is what he's talking about over here. People might get hurt. There's just no other way, folks. There's just no other possibility. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit sad and it's going to be really horrible. But look, don't worry about it. It's the only way. All right. Now you can see that working. Now, hang on, and I will play the last four minutes of this, and I assure you it's worth the wait. Christopher Green, I don't like being the bearer of bad news, but this is your final warning. The USA stock market is poised to collapse. Everybody's wrong. I hear a lot of people out there saying stock market's going to pump, war's good, civilian body bag counts are good. No. Iran is positioning to attack the United States and Israel. We have a very real threat of nuclear war economic collapse, hyperinflation in the United States. We are in a very serious altercation politically in the United States, whether or not it's Joe Biden or Donald Trump. He had some very outspoken words that came out earlier today regarding Israel. We have absolute worst case scenarios coming out. China and various wild cards, I believe, will be pulled very, very soon. You have very, very limited time to get out of the USA stock market. Stocks are going to crash the proportions I believe we have never seen in American history worse than 1929. If you study the fundamentals of the debt and you even look at just like general philosophy of the financial system on a whole, it is clear that this is a foundation of sand. And I believe that they need to do this to reset the system. I believe they have to wipe out the U.S. stock market. They have to make people poor, uh, just like they did in 1929. They have to absolutely destroy 401ks and IRAs and retirement accounts for a reason, to lead you guys to the next set of events. Again, during the lockdowns in 2020, which I predicted, along with the invasion of Ukraine and the 2008-2009 financial collapse, I was a broker, of course, on Wall Street at the time. I managed hundreds of millions of dollars. I had my clients exit out of the system right when Bear Stearns collapsed. Not all of you know that. The same way they manufactured the crisis then is the same way they're going to manufacture the crisis now. In 2020, it was clear to me, and it was also stated overtly by the elites, that they were going to introduce not just more bailouts and stimulus, but universal basic income to the general population. The only way they can do that is with a systemic meltdown. Jamie Dimon has announced last week, I've been on top of this, I reported on it, he's selling hundreds of millions of dollars worth of his stock, which means he's dumping on you and the general public. The elites are getting out, they're selling their positions, and then they're going to dump this right on your face. It's going to be the worst thing you've ever seen. Tim Cook selling hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Apple stock as well. You have people like Warren Buffett, who I personally don't like, but he's accumulating cash because he's ready to pounce. And also, with Buffett, it's a little different. He's going to be structuring inside deals with the U.S. federal government like he did during the Obama years, during the bailouts, during the 2023 financial stock market meltdown. I'm telling you guys this from the bottom of my heart. I know this spiritually as well. Everybody's wrong. You should be running from the exits. When the stampede hits, when it becomes obvious that tech stocks are going down, when uh, financial markets are going down, when more banks are collapsing, when the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which the whole thing's manipulated and rigged, but as it starts to sell off and cascade, is credit dis default swaps. You probably don't, e many of you probably don't even understand the synthetic derivative market. That's the world that I come from. All of this is a foundation of sand. Exchange traded funds, ETFs, indice funds, index funds, they're all going to class. We have a major systemic event that the elites here in the United States, Wall Street, and the political class have planned for and they're going to use this is the big takeaway for this video and i've said this for years they're going to use the scapegoat of israel world war three and what i believe is going to be a nuclear attack somewhere in the westernized world i pray that i'm wrong but i know i'm not wrong because god has told me this long in advance just like he told me to warn all of you in january 2020 of the lockdowns this is coming so from the bottom of my heart i'm warning you i'm warning all of you to make the moves now I don't even care what you do at this point. You know, I founded the Island Project. 
islandproject.com. It's the number one investment in the world. Even if you don't go with us, I'm telling you, protect yourself now. This is the worst series of events you will ever encounter in American history and economic financial history. Worse than 1929. So this is a red alert, a red alert. This is an emergency alert. You will witness the biggest financial collapse that you've ever seen in history under the guise and scapegoat of war. The Middle East is blowing up. The United States of America, Joe Biden and his administration attacked Iran through Syrian proxies just several days ago. It's over, guys. The gloves are off. We are witnessing a blow up of the entire Middle East, not to mention gross atrocities. I pray for Israel, pray for the Israeli people. But that does not mean that I stand with the corrupt criminal politicians in Israel. And the same goes for here in the United States of America. All of these people should be charged with war crimes. They should hang their heads low. They should be absolutely ashamed with themselves. But as a byproduct of this, as they reset the system into CBDCs, and I'm an expert in this area, I had you guys get involved in crypto and Bitcoin under $1,000. I was the first to start in social media and e-commerce. No one understood. A lot of people don't understand me now. They're like, Christopher, I don't understand. What is tokenization? Well, how are you, how is this work? What are the CBDCs going to do? How, how are they moving the system? Well, I don't even have time to explain all the details to you. I'm just telling you, if you trust me, if you've been following me, you've been with me for a number of years, one year, two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years. I've been doing this for almost 20 years now. Get out of the U.S. stock market now. Start making the moves. Whatever time that you have to exit, do it tomorrow. Financial markets open tomorrow. Start making the moves. We're here to help. If you have any questions, feel free to call us. Call my father, my dad, John Green, Vice President, 808-442-2934. That's 808-442-2934. You can immediately find, of course, on CoralIslandProject.com. If you just have any questions, we're here to help. We'll do the best we can. We're getting flooded with calls as it is. Flooded uh, <laughs> with so many things. I'm working around the clock. I mean, you see me in multiple locations. I'm flying all over the place right now. I'm just telling you guys, get ready.